Hello, this is Dr. Dave Gatros for COP3353. And what we're going to show you how to do today is do file transfers to and from your PC to a file server here at the Computer Science Department. I brought up Secure Shell and I'm going to log in. I'm going to pick my uh, profile on Diablo. You would use Shell or Linprog. And enter in password. So now I'm logged into the Shell and I can actually go and create files, edit them, and, and use my Unix account. Now when I'm done, I want to actually take that file and put it on my PC so I can upload it, maybe mail it to somebody or do whatever I want to with it. You'll notice these icons up here at the top, you know, print, print preview, you know, a copy, um, find a new window, or this one is the new file transfer window. Let me pull that up and you'll see that it brings up this other window it's got a graphical user interface that allows me to drag and drop files to and from the PC and to and from the server. Let me go into this PC okay, and then uh, my account okay. Okay. on downloads and you'll see I've got you know, several things right there and over here since I, this is like a um, uh, explorer, file explorer on Windows. You can do anything over here. You can actually activate programs. I'm going to delete these. You can just uh, get rid of them. You see when delete them? Yes, say yes. Okay, there they go. I can rename them. Alright. Got rid of them. Now what I want to do is go over here and find the directory that I've got my files that I want to transfer. You just follow the links. Minor in classes. This is Unix. Uh, intro to Unix. And I've got a bit one in here called Sample Scripts. I've got one in here called dir.out that I created. I'll say, okay, I want to put that over on my PC, and I just drag and drop it. Okay, there it is. And I can grab a bunch of them. Let's say I want to grab both uh, this one and Assignment Six at the same time put the shift key down and put that over Boom, there they are and then I can uh, close this window so now let's say I want to go to submit that I bring up my assignments I go to assignments let's say I want to submit it for assignment 3 I click on assignment 3 browse my computer I go to my uh, downloads there's a downloads right there but let's say I go underneath my account downloads Let's say I'll pick this one and say open and you'll see it attaches it right there and I say submit. Wait for the browser to come back and say that your uh, file has been submitted properly and then what you want to do is you want to go back into the assignments, download it, make sure it's not corrupted. Occasionally, not very often, but occasionally the uh, transfer of uh, files to Blackboard is uh, there's a problem and your file not may, may, may not make it all the way. Well that's how you do secure shell uh, file transfers and upload an assignment. Before I leave, let's go and show you how to do the secure shell transfer from Bitvice. Okay, we'll exit out of this and we'll close this window and we'll bring up Bitvice. Okay, now there's Bitvice. I'm going to log in. Okay, boom, comes up. I close this out. It brings up a window now. This is the secure shell transfer file window, and I activated it before I, when I was practicing. Let me close it, and this is more or less how yours would appear. You've got a secure shell up here that you can actually go in and connect. Well, let's uh, say up here at the top we have options, terminal, SFTP. These are the options that uh, you can actually enter to activate it. To actually activate the secure shell uh, file transfer itself, you go over here and you click that icon and you come up with the same kind of situation. Go modify where you want to put it, Ktros D and downloads and go over here and find the file you want. Classes sample scripts and grab the file you want, put it over there drag and drop, you'll see the download queue up here is activating, and there you're done. Alright. 
Well, that's how you do file transfers uh, from uh, a PC to the server, from and to the PC. It can go from both directions. I can take either one and go from left to right or right to left and um, put them on there. Very, very reliable. Very easy to do. Uh, use this to pull the files down to uh, uh, upload them. You can also create the files and edit them on your PC rather than in Unix and then just put them on the Unix file for testing. Hope this helps you. On to the next video.